Captain's Personal Log, Stardate 47634.4 The crew of the USS Pishposh has had the last few days to stretch their legs and catch their breath following their mission to avert a new Klingon war. At the direction of Starfleet Intelligence, we headed into the Briar Patch, where we found not only deadly Metreon gas, but a secret weapons facility headed by a Klingon ambassador named Bavat. We learned that he was developing weapons to use against the Federation in hopes of reigniting a new war with the Klingons, to fire them up from a period of stagnation. His words, not mine. We took what data we could and sent the facility and the experimental weapons into oblivion, but we couldn't help but wonder if something worse was on the horizon. That answer was soon given in the form of a Klingon informant, Kavalk who alerted Starfleet intelligence of Bavat's ultimate plan. Using information the Klingons had obtained from the future, via a race called the Nakul, Bavat had secured a doomsday device, a fabled planet killer, which he planned to unleash on multiple Federation worlds. Oh, jeez. Using a captured Klingon bird of prey, Aided by the fleet and Kavalt's own sacrifice, we engaged the planet killer without a second thought. And on the verge of death, we prevailed. Though Bavat escaped, the Klingon Empire learned of his deception and allowed us to leave the area safely and quickly, avoiding any further bloodshed. The crew received commendations for their exemplary performance. And somehow, I feel like it won't be the first time. Admiral Quinn also thought it best to expand our operational boundaries, with the ability to patrol various systems and take part in operations away from our original Klingon front. I, myself, just hope our next assignment is something a little less dire than, hey, entire worlds are on the line, good luck! Yeah, we'll see about that. Hey everyone, Jason with Smegco here, and welcome back to Star Trek Online. First of all, again, thank you so very greatly, incredibly, wonderfully much to everyone who experienced the first story arc with us. You make it even more worth it. Um, I expressed a little disappointment at the end of the last mission that I hadn't quite topped over the level 10 mark so that we could start the next arc with a new ship. Um, and several of you commented that I should do the Wasteland series of missions that are part of the Galaxy at Large set of side missions that we now have access to. Um, and as it fits chronologically right before the next story arc, it actually seemed like a good idea. I originally wasn't going to do like side missions and all that kind of jazz. I was strictly going to stick to the storyline, but I've already... Um, gone back on that by doing the um, supplementary logs so you know what let's just, let's just do it it's fine let's have a good time let's check it out um, I did play these missions um, when they first came out um, and they used to be part of the main storyline as well but um, sometime in the last few years I don't know exactly when they were relegated to side missions so um, these particular missions are still part of the main Romulan storyline. So if you play one of those characters, you're going to experience this as well by default. Um, but for us, uh, let's head off to the fabled planet of Galactic Peace. So the missions we want to do, since we're not doing necessarily the story missions, um, there's a lot, there's a bunch of missions that were taken out of like the main campaign and relegated to basically side missions. And you get those by hitting J. You uh, go to available and then they're all listed on the side here. And the one we want here, Secrets of Nimbus. We have a situation in the Nimbus system, Lieutenant. Romulan Republic intelligence suggests that there are triggers for Thaleron weapons on the planet Nimbus 3. There are also increasing reports of Tal Shiar activity on the planet. Most people steer clear of Nimbus 3 these days. The Orion Syndicate basically runs the planet. 
Obviously, though, it would be a disaster if the Tal Shiar managed to get their hands on the Thaleron triggers or take control of the planet. Stopping them not only helps a planet that needs Starfleet assistance, it provides a diplomatic connection with the Romulan Republic. I know that I can count on you to do the right thing. So anybody that um, is familiar with Star Trek um, knows that Nimbus 3 is the planet of galactic peace. Um, it is the planet that um, uh, Kirk and his team go to in Star Trek V um, to rescue the, um, the ambassadors. Uh, there's a Klingon, a Romulan, and a human ambassador there that meet like in secret, basically. Um, and they show up to rescue them. Star Trek V, okay movie. Not my favorite. Not, not the worst, but, you know, it's okay. Um, you know, William Shatner's done a thing, but it's fine. Let's hail him. Alright, go to Nimbus 3, located in the Beta Quadrant, and follow up on leads regarding banned weapons. Understood. I will head to Nimbus 3 right away. I knew that I could count on you, Smeg. You'll be looking for a man named Horace Jones. Horace is a local to Nimbus 3 and can give you the lay of the land, but be careful. The planet is deep in the hands of the Orion Syndicate, specifically an Orion named Hassan the Undying. We've sent operatives to look into the matter before, but met with little success. If you can find out what happened to them while you're down there, it would be appreciated. Alright. Sounds like we got a mission. Sounds like we got a mission. Helm, set course for the Nimbus system. Best speed. Eliza, get together the senior staff for a mission briefing. Let's go. Let us make our way to the Nimbus system, way over on the Romulan border. And we will just autopilot out. Paradise Lost as that guy just hacks up a small cat. Um, hello. Hello, sir. Greetings. Name's Horace Jones, interstellar trader, daring prospector, and broker of useful information. I don't know if that's what his voice is like, but it's fine. I'm betting you're here about those missing travelers. Or maybe the weapons trade, am I right? Just to get it out of the way, I'm not on anyone's side. Federation Klingon Romulan makes no difference to me. Why, my grandfather was happy to do business with anyone. Okay. <laughs> so whatever you need, I can provide. Be it Tritanium Polish or the latest Scuttlebutt. Now to be clear, this is all strictly... Well, let's just say if this doesn't work out, then you don't know me and I don't know you. It's, that's exactly how my last three relationships went. It's, it's great. You want information? <laughs> I've got it. Just don't let people know I gave it to you. Hmm? Okay, it wasn't too far off. <laughs> was it too far off? Tell me about the Thaleron triggers. <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. Lots of people are talking about it, but nobody really knows, right? <laughs> My guess is the syndicate wants a piece of that action, and they're doing something to keep a finger in the pie while moving things around without letting anyone see. Plus, most of the folks here just want to stay out of trouble. If someone's doing business here, though, it's probably at the bar. But my guess is you're not going to find the triggers in town. Oh, it's too risky to keep them here. Okay, maybe not. Everyone is coming and going all the time. Hmm? Huh. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this guy. What's the story with all the missing people? A lot of folks have come through town lately, mostly following 
rumors of the weapons trade, but occasionally there's some crazies looking for lost treasure or something like that. Most of them wind up heading out into the desert. Almost nobody comes back. Scorpions, mantids, syndicate enforcers, take your pick of hazards. And if they don't get you, the sun and heat will. Scorpions, mantids, syndicate enforcers, oh my! All right, well, listen. Want information? <laughs> listen. I've got it. Okay. It's not funny seeing you folks here. Uh, no one seems to bat an eye about our little planet until the Orions get their hands on something nasty. Now between that and the Romulans, this joint is jumping. <laughs> you want info? Sure, I'll give you info. The owner of the local bar, a reformed Borg by the name of Two of Eight, has his ear close to the ground. He can tell you more about the Tal Shiar. <laughs> Just don't tell too many people I told you, all right? <laughs> huh, I'm a Samantha. You want information? Okay, buddy. <laughs> all right, good seeing you. Barfly. Got a accolade for that. Alright. Um, oh, hello. Hello. GPL conversion unit. Cool. Dabo. And two of eight just sitting here against the bar. What's up, buddy? You're here for information. Someone told you I could give it to you. Make it quick. I'll tell you what I told the others. The Thaleron triggers can be found outside of town. That's where the Orions do their trading. We don't have many rules here, but that's one we all follow. Keep trouble outside the walls. Anybody looking for trouble winds up out there eventually, one way or another. Wait, other people have been looking for them? People have disappeared in the night. Other people go looking for them and don't come back. Know anything else? You're here for information. Someone told you I could give it to you. Make it quick. What is a liberated board doing out here? Minding his own business. I suggest you do the same. The desert then. I'll start there. Wait, what's this? All right, so we're going outside. We're going to locate missing officers outside of town. And my other people have come up. Hello. Listen, I want to show you guys my triple. Gives us a little bit of a buff. All right, so out to the desert we go. Jesus Christ. Find leads on Thaleron weapons. Investigate weapon remains. Fend off nearby scorpions. There's some more weapons. Or remains, I mean. Weapon remains. Some big bones out here. Alright, now we need to kill 20 scorpions. It's a very specific number. There's some scorpions up here. Just gonna tell everybody to go up there. Hey, look, it's a famous lot box.
Uh, also, I know I can hit B and go into FPS mode and even zoom in from there. Oops. Uh, is it... Oh, X, and zoom in and do sniper mode. I Like, I know people have commented before on that and said, you know, you can do that and you don't have to mash your one key and stuff. I know, I just always forget. It's fine. Hey, we did it. There we go. Recover groups of downed officers. Okay. Weren't there some, like, right here? Yeah. Hello! Um, hello? Beam to sick bay. There's some over there, too, next to the giant bones. Hello? It seems clear that two of eight sent us out here hoping we'd wound... Sent us out here hoping we'd be wounded or killed like the others. We have to confront him about the deception. Okay. Um, we can just beam right back over. Which is nice. You got some splaining to do. I apologize for the deception. Obviously, it was an error to mislead you. Do not mistake my actions to be hateful. I bear no ill will toward you. Besides, the taciturn Exborg bit almost always works. I cannot be seen aiding you. The Orion Syndicate would kill me if they knew. However, if you have the resources to survive in the desert, then you might have a chance against the Syndicate. Great, great, great. Where's the triggers? I can only confirm that the Thaleron triggers are in the possession of the Orion Syndicate. I cannot say any more than that. Call it a leftover default of cowardice, or perhaps a strong sense of self-preservation. There's only one man in this town who'd be willing to help you, and that is a man who calls himself Law. He does not come out of his home nearby, but I will tell you a way to signal him. If he wants to talk to you, he will. Law! Shout out to Judge Dredd. I'll speak with Law. This this isn't over. Don't think I'm gonna forget. Probably. Do you think with that giant head that Captain Smeg gets like larger than usual headaches? Some music was loud. Nice house. Um, hello? Who is it? Oh, you're not from around here, are you? No. Who told you about the signal? Are you just here to annoy me? If you know the signal, then you know I used to be a peacekeeper around here. Well, I'm not signing back up for it. Not after what the Syndicate did to me. Leave me alone. Wait, what were the peacekeepers? What's, what? Peacekeepers, ha! Huh? That was a novel idea. We were supposed to be the law around here. Uh -huh. Most people took it as a joke, but I took it seriously. The Orion Syndicate didn't like that. They dragged me away in front of everyone in the town. Well, I won't go into what Hassan and his crew did to me. All you need to know is that I learned why you don't cross the Syndicate. Sounds kind of dark, but uh, I'm... Trying to find information about Thaleron Triggers. I was told you could help. Thaleron Triggers? Why should I help you with that? The Orion Syndicate will kill me if I tell you anything. You should have tried coming here about two years ago. The old me would have helped you in a hurry. Still, you look like you've survived the desert, so you must be strong. Can you guarantee that I'll be safe if I help you? Guarantee is a strong word, I think, in this situation, but I'll do everything I can to ensure your safety. Well, I suppose since you've got yourself a fancy starship and all, maybe you might just be able to make a stand against these people. I still have my doubts. 
Especially with all that extra muscle the Syndicate has now. They're even getting help from the Tall Shar. The Syndicate is now using Nausicaan pirates and Gorn as their thugs. The Syndicate is using Nausicaan pirates and Gorn as their thugs now. They used to meet in ruins nearby to discuss details, make secret deals, and basically plan how to make our lives miserable. That all stopped when Sandworms decided to make that place their home. Sandworms? Hmm, shy halud. I'm sure there's still some data there. You'll be able to find information in the ruins, either in the old consoles or in the belly of a sandworm. Now get out of here before anyone sees you talking to me. Collect data about Orion Syndicate deals in the ruins. Okay, I'll go to the ruins. See you later, buddy. See you later, Law. I mean, bok bok. Scan old consoles or defeat sandworms to recover Nausicaan information. Okay. Alright, we're off in this direction. This is where I miss having, like, speeders and stuff in, uh... Old Republic. Oh my goodness. Oh, I was like, where's everybody else? I guess they were just way behind me. Alright, we have 13% already. Let's go. I don't know where the consoles are, I don't really remember. Here's one. Now we have 16% or 18%. Oh, jeez. That sounded horrible. Yo, is this another console? What's this? Activate Decrepit Transporter. Oh, damn. I didn't realize that was a thing. Pattern log permission is updated. Oh, there was one back at the bar, too. I'm a potato. That's all right. Twenty five percent. Nice, thirty five percent. Forty three percent. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a minute. Oh, they're all in sync. All right. Well, I'll just I won't worry about it. I'll just shoot them all. Then it's cool. Fifty-three. What are we up at? 70%? We're getting there. We're getting there slowly, but surely. This is probably the grindiest I've seen STO so far. We should get back to the bar and decrypt this information on their computer. Alright. But, this time when I go running by, I am going to... Ah. 
activate this guy. There we go. Now that I actually know what it does, let's go back to the back, use their computer. Hi, how's it going? Good to see you. The access code has a key that includes a mathematical flaw. If you can set the first two digits to add up to the third digit and the second and third to add up to the fourth, it should be able to trip the algorithm. Wait, what are you saying? Okay, what do we got? Change the third number to 15. The signal has been unlocked. I don't math. I can't believe I did that. Let's unlock the message. The blind man sees all. What is this, Empire Records? The fat man walks alone. Talk to Horace to find out more about the mysterious message. Lost City of Paradise complete. Hi, well, you're alive! Look, how was I supposed to know that you were different from the others? I swear, I'll tell you everything you need to know. Dino DNA! I don't know why I always go to that. After all, you might just have the power to stick it to those guys in the Orion Syndicate. And that thing about the blind man? Uh, well, yeah. I might have some way of helping you find out more about that. Just, just don't leave me now, alright? Oh, people have started to notice me helping you. I don't want to think of what will happen if you leave. By the way, there was someone here looking for you. Said they were sent here on a previous mission, but now they're looking to join up with your crew. All right. Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. There it is. Blind men tell all tales. This blind man must be some sort of mole for the Orion Syndicate. The guys who have those triggers you're looking for. <laughs> now, I don't know who that guy is, but someone in this town must know. The only way you're going to convince folks to help find this guy is if you show that you're not only strong enough to fight the Syndicate, but that you've got the gumption to defend us from them. <laughs> Showing some muscle around here would be a great first step. <laughs> well... You do that, and I bet someone will step forward to tell you who this mole is and where you can find your triggers. Okay, let's do that then. Plasma Torpedo Launcher Mark IV. Okay. Let's go. You want information? <laughs> no. Lieutenant Commander, we might try our luck again with 2 of 8. If we get in on his good side, he could prove a strong alloy. Uh, by the way... That last mission, we absolutely leveled up to level 10, which makes us Lieutenant Commander now. Which means that we can get our new ship when we're done with this. You're looking to help us? Interesting. It makes me wonder what your motives are, but I will not question them. Many people come here looking for something. I'm sure you have replicators on your ship. We have to make do with whatever food and water the Orion Syndicate agrees to sell us and pay whatever price they charge. They have a stronghold somewhere outside Paradise. I don't go there. Most of us don't wander outside these walls. Okay. A replicator for the bar would go a long way towards trust, if that is what you're looking for. Other than that, people always respect a show of authority. Assign a duty officer to install a replicator at the bar and then gain the respect of the residents of Paradise Lost. The previous mission, the Lost City of Paradise, awarded a duty officer. You can claim that officer from your inventory to use for this mission if you have no other duty officers. Alright, so this is the duty officer um, interface, which we haven't messed with yet, because I don't think it actually unlocks until like level 15, I think, but... That's all right. We have, is this it? Yep. Common quality duty officer use. There we go. Zik Quark de Goog. All right. Install replicator. It takes five minutes. All right. Begin assignment. Make a show of force to crowds. All right. 
beam down officers. Engage. Hello. We will make a stand against those. Okay, good. You guys handle that. Good job. They're going to help them out. Just keep walking. Calling down a wave team. Hello. Wait. It's two of the same guys. Let's go. Twins. It's working. We could go to the bar and to gain some more support. Hello? This is me talking to her. Yeah, maybe you can do it. Bet you can. Wait, did you say it was my lucky day? Um, I should do a fade to black right there. Boost morale. Let's go! Sure, why not? Could be fun to see you take on Hassan. Let's go! Boost morale. Hello? I'm Captain Captain Smeg. Let's go. I'm feeling better now I've had a drink. Like I could take on anything. Okay. Just, just boost it a little bit more. Sir, one more large gesture will do what we need. How about we buy our new friends around? Okay. Um, hello? We may not like you, but we'll still take your money. What do you want? Bartender. Around for the bar. Around for the whole bar? <laughs> well, that's a mighty fine gesture. Well, we actually don't use money, so um, it's fine. Tell your patrons, I'll be at standing up to the syndicate. Lieutenant Commander, Law wishes to speak to us about the blind man. Okay. Back to Law we go. Stop snarling at me every time. Folks around town are starting to talk about you. Mm -hmm. They think you're really here to turn things around. Yeah. To help fight the Orion Syndicate. You're looking for the blind man, the informant for the Syndicate. You found him. I've been giving Hassan information for years, ever since that night in the desert. Now, I don't expect you to like me very much or even trust me. But I can still give you the information that you need. I know how to get to Hassan's stronghold. That's the only place the triggers could be, if he hasn't sold them yet. Yeah, well, why didn't you tell me this earlier? I didn't know if you were actually going to help. Sure, you were strong enough to survive in the desert. But strength doesn't mean you're willing to get involved. What if you just simply bought the triggers from the Orions? Then you'd leave, and I'd be... I'd be dead. I don't know if you could... I didn't know if you could be trusted to have our best interests at heart. I'm a member of Starfleet. We would have stood against the Orionist Syndicate no matter what. You say that, but I've seen other members of Starfleet turn a blind eye. Why do you think Paradise has been this way for so long? I've... we've been hurt too many times by officials claiming to be here to clean up the system only to watch them mysteriously fly off without another word. That's what happened last time. I helped a Starfleet officer who promised to stop the Orion Syndicate. But it was all a lie. He left after the Orions paid him off, and then I was nearly killed for helping him. That's when I became their insider. Tell me the officer's name and I will make a full report about their actions. You will. He was a human named Captain Harps. I don't know where he would be now. Why did you betray your people to the Orion Syndicate? It was the only way to survive. There was a time where I wanted to bring law to this place. I fled here after the destruction of Romulus. I saw what I considered lesser species trying to govern themselves. 
I took it upon myself to be a peacekeeper. But in my time of need, when the Orion Syndicate came for me, no one tried to help me. No one. I was dragged through the streets of this town, and all they did was watch. That was when I gave up hope of anyone standing up to the Orion Syndicate. Until now. Alright, well, tell me about the stronghold. Hassan is in the downship in the mountains to the east, but his stronghold is extremely well guarded. Pirates hired by the Orions guard the mountain pass, while the Nausicans keep guard over a prison area. Please, if you are going up there, rescue the prisoners. They are poor souls from this town who the Orions decided to take, either for the slave trade or just for the pleasure of torture. All right, sounds kind of horrible. You'll have to fight your way up through the mountains, but you will eventually reach their stronghold and the triggers. Good luck. I'd say people in this town are rooting for you, just not very loudly. All right, reach Hassan's stronghold. All right, we can do that. Thanks. Find information on the blind man. Hail Captain Harvson. Yes. Always be on the lookout. There are plenty of dangers out there in this galaxy. Talk about events on Nimbus 3. You don't understand the position I was in. I know what you did on Nimbus 3, Captain. La told you. I expected he would eventually. Part of me was terrified that we'd find out, and the rest of me wanted you to know. Yes, I took a bribe from the Syndicate. You have to understand that it was a long time ago. I was a lieutenant, green out of the academy, and all I had on Nimbus was myself and a small team. I thought this was the best option. This way, the Orions handed over their contraband and a healthy payment besides. I thought hurting them financially would help more than me dying in the sand. Why haven't you gone back to help them yourself, then? I couldn't face going down there. You're making your mark, Lieutenant Commander. Great things are expected of you, and I knew you could finish the mission I couldn't. The people down there need someone who can help them, not rule them or use them. I knew that you'd try to find the triggers, but that you'd also try to help them, try to help that town. I know I have no reason to expect mercy from you, but could we keep this between us? Everyone makes mistakes. I'm working hard to fix mine. Nothing like this has happened since then, and I promise it will never happen again. I know you didn't mean for anything to happen, but Starfleet needs to know. Admiral Quinn says, Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Captain Harvison and I will be having a frank discussion on this matter. Hopefully you will have learned from his mistakes and can be a better officer and commander in the future. Understood. The away team will make our way to the stronghold. Alright, and because this is a multiple mission arc, we will be cutting this in two, and this will be the end of part one. Uh, and part two will pick up with us heading over to the stronghold. All right, that takes care of the first three of the six missions that make up this arc. We'll be getting to that second half here really soon. Uh, I just felt like it was about the halfway point. It was a good point to kind of uh, cut and uh, keep this from going an hour and a half. A uh, little longer than I intended just because I've been experimenting with demo record and kind of sticking some extra shots in. Uh, getting involved in that's been fun, but uh, like getting it all together uh, made me realize that even though I spent three years in film school, I don't remember very much of it. So <laughs> kidding around and like relearning editing and like sticking things in has been interesting. Um, guys, like and subscribe if you would. If not, that's cool. I'm just glad you're here anyway. Please be excellent to each other and more importantly to yourself. We'll catch you next time.